two. A one, two, three. Come on to my house and my house, I'm gonna give you candy. Come on to my house and my house, I'm gonna give you apple, a plum, and an apricot or two. Come on to my house, my house, come on. Come on to my house, my house, come on. Come on to my house and my house, I'm gonna give you figs and dates and grapes and cakes. Huh? Come on to my house, my house, come on. Come on to my house, my house, come on. Come on to my house and my house, I'm gonna Come on to my house and my house, I'm gonna give you everything. You try to tell me that that was Rosemary Clooney, I wouldn't believe you. Well, that's Rosie, all right. <laughs> I mean, she had everything. She had it all. Movies and television, not to mention the records. And now look at her. You compare that to some of those publicity photos we've seen. It's heartbreaking. She snapped. Turned on the audience. Told them off in no uncertain terms. Then she became violent. Hmm. I know. And she's addicted to, um, to it all? And second hall, and Librium, and Percodan. My God. Alcohol? Drugs, really. Hmm. When did you administer the Thorazine? About 8 o'clock this morning. She's still too sedated to begin to feel any pain of withdrawal. Tough people. Once they get wound around the wrong way, it's a hell of a job rewinding them. Might as well get started. Okay. Hello, Rosemary. I'm a doctor. I'm here to help you. I'm Dr. Jones. Rosemary? You must have something rather important in that case. What? Can you tell me what it is? It's my life. It's my life. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Audition, right? Audition? Can you tell me about this audition? I think we're late. Uh, Rosemary. Tahu 
huahila, a tahua huahila, e huhenila, a pili koa luela, putu tuila, itu tuila, hano lipo ita taule. Ah, way, tahuala. Ah, way, tahuala. Seven, that's the time we leave at seven. I'll be waiting up for heaven Counting every mile of railroad track That takes me back I never thought my heart could be so yearning Why did I decide to roam? Gonna take a sentimental journey, sentimental journey home. How do we get home? We can't use our bus pass after five o'clock. If we get the job, I'll ask for an advance on ourselves. Hello. Hi, I'm Ward Wiener. Hi, hi. I'm the program director. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You two are very, very good. How would you like to be on the Moon River show? I'll pay you $20 a week, a piece. Wow, that's great. <laughs> we'll do it. Oh, good. Uh, either one of you 18? No, do, do we lose the job? Well, you need your parents' permission to sign a contract. Well, we, uh, we live with our aunt and uncle. Well, fine, they can sign for you. Good. Listen, you come back tomorrow, the contracts will be ready. You go to work, okay? Oh, Mr. Wiener? Mm -hmm. Uh, could you advance us a dollar on our salary? Oh, sure. Here, I'm gonna make a personal loan. Here's five dollars. All right, you pay me back when you get your salary. I'm going to tell her that we can pay her our way now. She can take us in. Forty a week? We only had a dime between us. We used our school bus pass to get downtown. It was Betty's idea. She heard about the auditions at WLW. I think you were wonderful to go down there by yourselves. But you should have called me. Every day we thought Daddy would come back. Yeah, he came home drunk, took all the savings bonds, and left. That was 10 days ago. You can kiss that money goodbye. But your father was here looking for you today. He was sober. He wants you to come home. Well, we want to stay with you. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but this couch isn't much of a home. Don't make us go back, Jean. Oh, Jean, please. You can stay here as long as you like. But there's still school tomorrow. Get into bed. <laughs> All right, George. Come on in. All set? Yeah. Okay, now I heard what uh, Gene said. I don't want you guys to worry about your father, huh? I'll talk to him, and uh, your old uncle here will take care of your contract. <laughs> We're real singers. You bet you are. Good night, kids. Good night, night. Sweet dreams. Jean, have you heard from Mom? Not in a few weeks. Say your prayers, get to sleep. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Two kids have had a raw deal. Francis is our sister, and I'm not much of a Catholic. But divorcing Andy, going off to California, taking their brother, leaving those girls behind. Come on, come on. Be, not... be quiet. They'll hear you, Jean. You can't blame Francis for everything, huh? When I think of Betty and Rosie in that apartment without food or money. Well, their father is out. Come on. Hmm? Hmm. And 
it's so typical of little Rosie not to say anything. She keeps everything inside. How many times a day do I think of you? How many roses are sprinkled with dew? How far would I travel to be where you are? Beautiful. You girls have beautiful intonation. Thank you. Um, great. Let's go on to uh, Talk of the Town and My Silent Love. Hi, Grace. How's it going? Very good. And more. Oh, great. <laughs> Great. It's wonderful having a vocal coach, Mr. Winter. Thank you. Oh, no, it's my pleasure. Listen, the station can afford it. The advertisers are paying good money for the Moon River Show, thanks to you two. And uh, Grace will help increase the range of your material. Mm -hmm. Mort, do you know um, Billy Petering, the trumpet player? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's got his own band now, doesn't he? Uh-huh. And he's looking for singers. It's only high school dates, but it could be very good experience for our girls. How about it? Do you want to sing with the band? Do we? Great, great. I'm in the mood for love Simply because you're near me Funny, but when you're near me I'm in the mood for love Heaven is in your eyes as the stars we're under Oh, is it any wonder I'm in the mood for If you had told me you were going out with Billy, I could have covered for you. Why, Betty Clooney, you're a sly one. What Uncle George does and no one hurt him. It's you and me, kid. I'm Charlie Trotter, road manager for the Tony Pastor Band. Yeah? Hi. I've been watching you all spring. We've been looking for some new singers, and we open in Atlantic City in a few weeks. Are you interested? New Jersey? That's right. Crazy. Hey, how old are you two? Old enough. Good for you. Hey, here's my card. I'm staying at the Royalty. Give me your call. Excuse me. Oh, but we already have a ride home. Oh, all right. We have one more number. Bye. That was Uncle George. He's picking us up. He says he has a surprise for us. There goes my date. Uh, 
going back to San Francisco, Mama? No, that marriage is over. I gotta find a job. What? Well, you don't have to work. I'm. We can take care of you. We're gonna make a lot of money with the pastor van, and and Jean's helped us save. <laughs> Jean could always squeeze a dollar harder than anybody I ever knew. I gotta do something. I mean, I can't just sit around. And I need to find a place to live. Rosemary, it's like old times watching you help your mother. Oh, I could always depend on Rosie. like home. Oh. Oh. Oh, just call me Calm Tom. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it's always a great pleasure for me and the boys to play this great steel pier here in Atlantic City. And tonight, we've got a special treat for you. We'd like you to meet two lovely young ladies we discovered in Cincinnati. They're dynamite, and you're going to love them. Let's give a big hello to the Clooney Sisters. When lovers make no rendezvous To stroll along Fifth Avenue When this familiar world is through Will you still be mine? There's a somebody I'm longing to see I hope that he turns out to be someone who'll watch over me. I'm a little lamb who's lost in the wood. I Hmm? 
In a couple of weeks, I'll be 19 years old. Mm -hmm. You mean we've been with this band almost three years? Sometimes it feels more like 30. <laughs> oh, Rosie, do you realize that this year is my last chance to be a teenager? I want to go home and have some fun. What? You mean leave? Shh. Why not? You just phoned some. And it's all my fault. I'm always jazzing with it. I've got to spend more time with you. You are not responsible for me. It's simple. I just want to be a teenager before I'm 21. But we're a team. I don't want to be alone. You don't need me. You're the one with the real range and style. Besides, everybody loves you. When do you want to leave? Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Shh. At least two weeks' notice. All right. I'll leave two weeks from tomorrow. Okay. Then I'll go with you. I mean, we both need a break. Maybe it's time to make a move. Leaving the band means worrying about money again. We have been everywhere, all over the country. But California has the softest air of anywhere. You, it's just, that's where I want to live. You can bring us all out there to live when you're a big movie star. Yeah. Well, when I lived in California, I was so busy working, I didn't even notice the air. Big Downbeat big magazine beautiful. said Rosie's the nearest thing to Ella Fitzgerald. Uh -huh. How about that? Don't rush me. Don't rush oh, me. Ah, think big. Frank Sinatra started singing with a band. Now he's a big star in the movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There were guys swooning over Rosemary and me. And I hope you two behaved yourself. You were supposed to look after Betty. Mom, we're not kids anymore. Hey. Mm -hmm. The most famous cis jockey in New York said Martin that... Block? Make believe That's ballroom? right. Martin Black said that it was Rosie's voice on the solos that helped sell the past. <laughs> ah, hey, cool it. We're both unemployed right now. First stop for me is New York. Why not go to California? Because the record business is in New York. So you went to live in New York? I sang on the radio. Sang on Philadelphia. People like my records. Uh, I had to send money home for people to depend on me. I had to... I had to get out of here. I had to get out of here. I had to go to New York. I had to go to New York. I had to work. I sent an air mail special to Your answer was goodbye There was even postage due I fell in love just once And then it had to be with you Everything happens to C and D is out. Get the bar change. C and D. Right over here, right in the center. C and D. Mitch, please, I want to talk with you. We'll be ready to go in a few minutes. Give her a lead sheet. All right, let's run it down once for a level. That's what I want to talk with you about. I'll run it down once. Anytime you you're ready. To me? I, I don't want to record this song. I, it's not my style. What's the problem? I think I've come a lot farther than this. I don't want to do any more foolish songs. I, I, what's this? A, a, an apple and a plum? What is that? What is what? I, I I don't want to do the song. It's, it's, it's not right for me. Are you finished? Yes. I'm the producer. I decide what's right for you. But I know my style. Rosie, let me put it another way. If you don't record the song, you're fired. All right, here we go. One, two, a one, two. 
house of my house, I'm gonna give you candy. Come on to my house of my house, I'm gonna give you apple, a plum, and an apricot or two. Come on to my house, my house, come on. Come on to my house, my house, come on. Come on to my house of my house, I'm gonna give you figs and dates and grapes and cakes. Huh? Come on to my house, my house, come on. Come on to my house, my house, come on. Come on to my house of my house, I'm gonna give you candy. Come on to my house of my house, I'm gonna give you everything. Come on to my house of my house, I'm gonna give you Easter egg. Come on to my house of my house, I'm gonna give you everything, everything, everything. Come on to my house. I was so sure this tool would sell, I shipped 300,000 copies. Only Mitch Miller has that sharpened ear for a hit. Thank you, Joe. Have you met Rosie? Jose Ferrer, Rosemary Clooney. Come on, I want to talk to you. Now, the record, did. Rosemary. That is for remembrance. It's a beautiful name. Is that a quotation? The first sentence is from Hamlet, Act Four. I, uh, I think scene five. The second sentence? Well, that's my own opinion. Thank you. I want to do a musical about George M. Cohan. You would be wonderful playing the part of his sister, Mary. Shall we have lunch? Oh, my whole family loves to sing. Mom and Dad weren't always together, but um, when they were, he used to play the ukulele, and we would all sing and sing. And... I had a dance band at Princeton. Really? We called ourselves the Pied Pipers. <laughs> Highly original. You know, Traveling with a band sounds very much like touring with a play. Oh, I was killing. The traveling, the buses, the food, 23 hamburgers to go. There were times when I thought I couldn't stand another town or sing another note. And then the band would set up and the audience would start to buzz and, well, the energy would just be there. It reminded me of when we used to stay with our grandmother and there were always aunts and uncles and cousins and... Betty and I were very little, and, well, the band was sort of like a family, and Betty and I were the kid sisters, you know. And Betty? She's right back where we started at WLW. Has her own radio show. She can never stop working. Do you and your wife have children? No. But I have a daughter from my first marriage. And I marry. I want to have a big house and lots and lots of children. You're a very special kind of lady, Rosemary. Very special. I had to, I'd like to see you again. How do you feel about it? You were both so wonderful. Oh, Mother's going to be green with envy when I tell her what she missed. But her cold was worse, and, and, and she... she wants you to stop seeing me now, isn't that it? Oh, Joe, she's... She's so old-fashioned in her way. I... 